There's more people on the way. Keep moving. Keep moving. Need the exercise. to be here and thrilled to see the numbers of people that are here today. Thrilled to see those who've gathered wearing black shirts and more and more people are coming. No. You know, just the hair on the back of my neck is standing up as I see this crowd gathered. And that's because we're standing in unity and we are proud of our sign languages. Across Canada, rallies are being held today. Thank you, BJ. And across all provinces of Canada, rallies are being hosted. So how many provinces are participating? We've got 10 provinces. We've got territories that are hosting rallies today. Can you imagine that? Yesterday, the deaf community in New Brunswick they contacted me last minute. At first they felt a bit of trepidation. Then they saw the messages on the web. They saw the different provinces that were hosting these rallies, the times and the schedules, and they felt they had to do something. People in New Brunswick are part of us. And I encourage them, even if it, it didn't matter. They didn't need to be concerned about the numbers. Even if they had 50 people. So today they are rallying and I've been receiving pages all morning. People across Canada have been contacting me because I have been responsible for contacting the media and the leaders, getting information out while working with Gary. Gary has so much information and we, he's provided that information to us to assist us with the ideas and the organization. This is the first time in history something like this has happened. The National Association of the Deaf and the States are hosting a rally as well in Washington, D.C. That's great to know. And you'll be proud to know that in Gallaudet, Canadian students are rallying at the embassy, the Canadian embassy in Washington, D.C. as well. And it, these are not only happening in North America, but there's rallies happening in France, in Spain, in Italy, in Germany. And what's that tell you? The whole world is gathering and rallying today. Do you know why this rally is taking place? I don't think I have to explain that to you who've gathered here. You already know what the issues are. Education. And that's why we're here at Queen's Park. And we need to approach the Queen's Park around education. The fe and we need to be at Parliament Hill addressing the federal government. And it's because there's been such a long struggle. We've asked for education to happen in our sign languages, and they ignore our requests time and time again. When I say, hi, I'm deaf, they like, the person I approach in government is like a deer caught in the headlights. They look at me, their knees quiver. They don't get a piece, some paper and uh, pen and begin to try to communicate with me. They don't even know how to begin communicate. And who suffers as a result of that attitude? Deaf people. I do as a deaf individual. Politicians make no attempt to give us information, no attempt to communicate with us. When did deaf, deaf people first appear on the face of this earth? Way back when in the caveman area, we were there. And we're still here today in 2007 facing the same barriers, attitudinal barriers. People saying it's impossible for deaf people. 
It's time to stop the rhetoric. Many hearing people who study for their PhDs and they have certificates on their wall. They study deaf education, but they know nothing about us at all. They look at us as if we were mice in an experiment. Are you? Are you mice? No, so what are you? Who are you?